أقدر حدكم وسلامتكم نركب في البقاء في المقاعد ما يبقى أزياء مربوطة حتى توقف فوق غير توقف الثانيين Morning. Assalamu alaikum. Now we are in, in front of the oldest pyramid in history. Wow. The ancient Egyptian history was divided into 30 dynasties. The temple, the first temple in history too, and the first time they use this tool for construction in a large scale. Here we are, the oldest pyramid in history, 27th century BC, which makes it almost 5,000 years old. Welcome my friend, I am his name Adil, welcome from Saqqara. I am very happy can see looking at the people American. Shukran. So how the carpets are produced now we're entering the shop where they're gonna try to sell us a carpet or maybe a few carpets Here we are in Memphis right now, and this is the statue of the Ramses II. Very well preserved.
I would, would love them. Smell it. If you get what this kind, I will give you girl. For you, I have this. Because you go for something for gaming. I never give my cat to my gaming with a smaller size. Because you will use it. أنا سعيدة جدا بلقائكم nice to meet you you are very friendly أنتم أصدقاء جيدين للغاية شكرا عفوا happy shopping guys congratulations And we finally here the pyramids of Giza the main reason why we came here to Egypt to see the only standing ancient wonder of the world its original height about 146 meters long but now 137 the number of the stone three million block of stone each block of stone the minimum weight is about two and a half ton and we have some stone weighed about 70 ton so you can imagine 70 ton how they cut it how they transported it from aswan 1600 kilometers from there to the side and then the big question how they left it to build the huge the pyramid to this height so the original pyramid used to be of this stone and then they remove the casing and that's what they end up with but what a work of art guys absolutely surreal it's huge it's huge when you come close to it it's absolutely gigantic the pyramid is so huge you can't even see its triangular shape it looks like a giant wall of stones which it is but the best way to see the size of the pyramid is from far away Here in Cairo, we're staying in Cosmopolitan Hotel, which is right in downtown of the city. And the best thing I like about this hotel is the lobby. The 
and another great feature of this hotel is its unique elevator. Good morning guys. We are heading to Alexandria right now. It's about a three hour drive from Cairo. Um, for now, let's see what our group thought about our day yesterday when we explored the pyramids. And we're going to start with Mr. Aladdin. Most impressive Kahal Shams went to the camel. He was sitting on the camel. <laughs> I was thinking what will happen if first we we'll fell down, <laughs> first camel we saw, <laughs> and after that we like a domino, right? <laughs> I was imagined, that's why I was laughing. Yesterday we had a very eventful day, all day visiting pyramids in Saqqara, um, Giza and Memphis. So, just was really amazing experience. I love pretty much everything about yesterday trip and tour. Uh, of course, the pyramids were beautiful. You know, this is something I wanted to see for a very long time, so that was very nice. And the experience with uh, taking photo with that uh, traditional uh, scarf that scarf. they wrap around your head was a very nice experience. The amazing part of it was the camel rides, right? Oh my god, the camel rides! I was so scared going up. I was the last one to go up, actually. Well, I was sitting on my camel, Bob Marley was his name. Не бойся, это друг. Не бойся, это друг. Это зовут Bob Marley. Bob Marley. Yeah, хороший. So the the I was the first one to climb on it, but he was in a lying down position until the. Everyone assembled and then all of a sudden I'm up and I have a fear of heights and then going back it was actually I was actually getting uh, Used to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's quite nice. The, the animals are quite uh, quite interesting <laughs> When I looked at the us for Four musketeers on the on the on the camels. I remember that picture in Machu Picchu. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 So that's, that's was a really great memory for sure. Yeah. When we went to this cotton store or shop, they tried to give us a sort of uh, cotton for three hundred dollar, <laughs> which in Costco fifty dollar. <laughs> I saw some uh, two two ladies was there. Artificial lady. <laughs> <laughs> One lady from the left with this stuff <laughs> on top of his head. <laughs> I, I don't know what, how you call it. This one. No, it's not hijab. It's like putting this way, but on top. No, 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 no not bra. When a woman. No, there's dancing, go, yeah, hey, naked, oh, naked okay, dancing, okay. but they're putting something. Jingle, jingle rapid. <laughs> jingle, jingle rapid. And she, she put on the head of her head, yeah. on top of her head. That's why it was interesting. It's the wrong place. It should be this side. <laughs> <laughs> that is the explanation. Mr. World Travel number one. It's a catacomb meaning underground galleries and underground tombs. We have in Rome the same. And every part of the Roman Empire to have the same. And with the burial shaft here, with the spiral staircase, very rare. <laughs> Under the ground, you have just one tomb for one private family. For the first time, we found something large like this. He want to be like the ancient king in e ancient Egypt, something like the Valley of the King. But this man, maybe he was the ruler of Alexandria in the Roman time, second century. Maybe because we didn't have his name, unfortunately. And maybe he is somebody in Alexandria, have a lot of money, and he arranged some family tombs.
second burial shaft here, the function of the place to listening for the prayer and the ritual in the ancient time. And the relative can see the body to the last time before they put him inside the sarcophagus and listening for the prayer and the ritual. And you can see it from here. God Anubis, God of the mummification in the ancient time and God of the cemetery also. As you can see, he taking the viscera, the kidney and the belly and everything from his body. And after that, he can preserve it in this liquid material, the canopic jar, supposed to be four canopic jars for the brain and for the kidney and for the liver and the rest of the viscera. That is God for us. Can you see him? Okay, he holding something in his hand. Can you see it? Yes. A blood. Yes, blood. Why? Because it's sign of resurrection. Something dead like the soil, black soil, something dead, and suddenly become alive again. And that is the main idea in ancient Egypt. Resurrection. Something dead, become alive again. Grief for the baby. Wow. Yes. And the rest is for the family. For the family, and like a room also, yeah. and the extension here. So I think this is pretty incredible. Look at this column. This is apparently the tallest column in the world was put here by Alexander the Great. Now the amazing part is that it was brought from Aswan about thousand kilometers from here from Alexandria over the water. No idea how they did it back then but eventually they had to put this column 300 tons on the pedestal. All right, we're going against the traffic in downtown Alexandria. People, cars, we make shortcuts. total chaos. No, not chaos, we're making shortcuts. Yeah, it's a shortcut because we're, we're missing our next appointment. We're going to miss our Alexandria library. All right, looks like we're completely lost. Our driver has no clue where he's going. He's getting some directions from local citizens. All right, hopefully we got some directions. And of course, we missed the library because it is now closed, but here it is, the modern library of Alexandria. So apparently this is the second largest library in the world, but we can only see it from outside. Hi! Hi! Hello, guys! Hi. Yalla, yalla! Yalla, habibi! All right, lunchtime finally. It's lunchtime and we are going to sit in this place overseeing the Mediterranean Sea. Franzino. Looks good. Ramadan, la ha tadia, 
وانت الاغنية والدنيا المزيكا امشي معاه ادخل جواه غني باحساس لو حتى نشاس الدنيا دوامة ومفيش عوامة سيب نفسك خاص وكفاية دراما الدنيا سالة مش مستاهلة ما تفكرش في بكرة دلوقتي أحلى بتلخبط وبتتخبط والبكرة قاعد بتخطط ونسيت تعيش باصص وعرك مش قدامك مكتف واقف في مكانك وما بتمشي كمان الدنيا لوحة وانت الفنان ارسم بمزاجك واشطب علي فاتك بكرة عاوز يسمع We in the middle of Krakow Square The traffic light is not working and we're going to attempt crossing it قبل ما الدنيا تجري وتفوتك هلي بالصفحة الدنيا لحظة في مرة هتنام ومش هتصحى متلخبط وبتتخبط والبكرة قاعد بتخطط ونسي تعيش This morning we're going to climb the Cairo Tower to see the views of the whole city بتلخبط وبتتخبط والبكرة قاعد بتخطط ونسيت تعيش باصص وراك مش قدامك متكلم Alright let's go let's go up the Cairo Tower Cairo Tower is waiting for us guys Let's see the views from the tall structure in the city غمض عينك لو حتى دقيقة انت الاغنية والدنيا المزيكا امشي معاها وادخل جواها غني باحساس لو حتى نشاس الدنيا دوامة ومفيش عوامة سيب نفسك خالص وكفاية دراما الدنيا سهلة مش مستاهلة ما تفكرش في بكرة دلوقتي أحلى Alright, so we made it all the way to the top and on this day it's pretty clear you can see the pyramids of Giza Check it out Today is the last day here in Cairo in, in a matter of a few hours we'll be heading to Aswan The only question remains how do we get there? There are a few ways We can take a bus, we can take a plane We can take a train um, bicycle. Oh, bicycle, yes Or camel uh, but, but here's the question we have to decide as a group I have my opinion, but let's ask everyone here So, you can go with airplane on the Egypt Air I have to warn that it's one of those airlines with the highest number of accidents Also, not the not the safest option. So, so basically, between the airplane and plane, those are the two options. So, let's start with uh, Mr. Aladdin. What's your opinion? What do you think? Train. 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 Train.
in a few hours we're gonna board and train to Aswan and we're gonna share our experience with everyone so that you know if it was a bad choice you don't repeat that but if it's a good choice maybe you can follow this <laughs> Good morning guys, we are almost in Aswan. Let me give you an honest review of Egyptian railways. Overall, good experience and to be honest, it exceeded my expectations. The train was clean, the food was good, it's like airplane food. We had dinner and then we just had our breakfast. The only thing I didn't like, in fact I hated it, was the fact that the train was shaking all night. We called it the earthquake ride. It was unbelievable. So if you if you don't like that kind of experience, do not take this train. You can take a plane. The prices, by the way, absolutely the same. Um, other than that, pretty good ride. We're almost on the Aswan and I'll see you guys there. I'm definitely going to remember this ride from Cairo to Aswan for the rest of my life.